All right guys, I have another video for you today and today's video is a little DIY. So I'm gonna show you what project I'm going to be working on today. As you can tell, I am all ready in my paint gear. I got my paint hair pretty much. This is the cabinet I am going to be redoing today. I moved it to the center of the room so it'd be a little bit easier to paint. As you guys can tell, I have like my other projects that I have going on over there too that I need to work on. Those will be next for today. I'm going to be working on this. This little cabinet was even at our old house. I got it from a little consignment shop around our house several years ago. This is the color it came. So once we moved into this house, I didn't think I would use it anymore. We took it out to my parents' cabin and Joshua and I just went and picked it up the other day. On the way back, as you can tell, like the handles kind of fell off and stuff, but I am planning on changing those out anyway. So it's pretty small. It's not a huge cabinet or anything, but let me tell you guys what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be moving this cabinet that I got from World Market, I'm gonna be moving this into the living room where these canvases are back here and there's gonna be a chair on either side. So it's kind of gonna be used as like a little just table to set a cup of coffee or whatever. I might put a little lamp on it or something. So that's gonna go over here. This stuff is all gonna come out of here eventually. So yeah, that's where I'm thinking of putting it is back over here. When we first moved into the house, that's where it was. And then once we redid the floors, everything, we just took it out of here because I didn't think I was going to use it. So I love this piece of artwork from Home Goods. I think I'm going to move that to the wall over there where my fiddle leaf tree is. And yeah, so I'll just have my little china cabinet in here. It'll be great for like extra storage and stuff. And then over here, this is all of my stuff that I have to use today. So I'm using the Rust-Oleum Chalked in Linen White. Chalk paint is really nice too because you can't really see brush strokes. You don't have to do too much sanding or anything. So I got one of these and then I also got the spray paint as well. I was thinking I could do the spray paint on the shelves. I thought I could just take those out to the garage and then like maybe the drawer or something, take that out to the garage. I don't know, we'll see. It was just kind of random, I just grabbed it. I also have these small little paint rollers. Um, I had some spackling, I wasn't sure if I needed to use that for anything. I have a couple brushes I still need to get out, but these little brushes, this is my second pack of these. These are so great for detail work. I've bought like more professional brushes to try to do detail work on projects like these. And these ones are my favorite for some reason. They're Crayola, Crayola. So um, I thought that was kind of funny, but they're awesome. So my second pack of those. I'm going to just get started here, I guess. I'm probably gonna take off all the um, knobs and pulls or the one knob and all the pulls first and then get to painting and then I'll show you guys how I end up styling it when I'm done too. It is the next day and I spent the whole morning putting a second coat on the cabinet and I didn't film it because I figured, I mean, how much of me painting am I really going to keep showing? So I was just checking it out, seeing how it's looking. I mean, whenever I paint anything, I see so many little mistakes that I could have done better, but honestly, I went through the whole entire can of that paint I don't really have any left. Maybe a tiny bit I could 
get out for like little minor touch-ups but I really don't have any left and then I ended up spraying like the shelves and then the drawer and those are fitting out in the garage right now so once this is like officially dry I'm gonna put my new knob just one knob and then my pulls on but here's the only problem I realized I actually ordered the wrong size from Home Depot. These are the ones, they're kind of like a brass color. This is actually like the exact same color as our kitchen faucet. As you guys will be able to tell, they are the wrong size. So, I think we're just going to fill those holes because we can't really like go out shopping for any different ones right now and I kind of just want to get the project done so I think we're just gonna try to fill those holes put these on moment of truth we will see if this one looks good at least is it recording mm -hmm. oh I might need the longer Am I gonna need... yeah I need the longer screw I just hope it works out putting like filling those holes because I feel like anytime I've tried to do that in the past it doesn't work so now I'm nervous. Like should I just try to wait and order different ones online? That looks cool. What do you say? I think it really goes well with the green. Oh, that's all coming <laughs> off. I really like this little knob though. That looks super cute. I almost picked out black ones, but I'm glad I did this color. How does that look? Good. I think that's sharp. Oh my goodness. Whoa. That actually, I'm like super excited right now. This is turning out better than I ever, than I ever like thought it was going to. Oh my goodness. I just filled these holes with some wood filler and it has to dry for a couple hours. So this project's going to take a little bit longer. Then I thought I really, really like that one though. I took some time to look online for the exact size that I needed in this kind. The little, I think they're called a T. What were they called again? T something, I don't know. But they don't have it in the size that, of the holes that were already there. So that's why I just decided we would just fill these. And I'm probably gonna have to repaint too. That's that. Luckily they have this paint at our grocery store, the Rostolium chopped. And then this is a little glass scraper. There's not too much paint on here, but can you see that coming off right there? It comes off really easy. Even when it was painted yellow, there's still like some extra that was never taken off. So that's probably really old. That might take a little more scraping. Today is day three of working on my little project here. So I had to do a little bit of sanding because I noticed there were like a couple drip marks. I filled in all the holes with wood filler. I ended up doing a couple of coats and just sanding like every couple hours. I think it's looking really good back there. I have one little knob on. I was actually just trying to figure out where I wanted to put the other ones. But right now I'm actually going to do a quick coat of paint on the drawer. I originally sprayed that, but I'm just gonna roll it real quick, like the front of it, just um, to cover up where the holes were and stuff, cause that's dry now. And then I'm gonna do these doors down here too one more time, cause you can kinda see where the little handles were before. I'm also going to do a little touching up right here because I sanded right here because there were some drip marks right there. So just a little bit of touching up and then once it's dry we should be good to go and put our handles on. It's a few hours later, this is all dry, and we are getting set up to... You gonna what, help? Are we, what are we getting set up to do? To add the poles on. So, we have this little handy dandy thing 
Yep. That kind of helps figure out where, right where you need to mark it. So show them where the handles were before on this drawer. Here and here and here and here. Okay, so somewhere in there. So there were two handles and now I'm wondering if we should just do one in the middle to keep it more simple. Um, so I don't know. And then before the handles were like in the middle of the door, right where Joshua's hands are. And now we're thinking of doing it right there. Yeah, where his fingers are. Um, Bandit, can we please see what's going on? Here go. <laughs> right in front of me. Yes, thank you. Did you want to help? You do. Yeah. <laughs> Clean that off. Okay, everyone. So this is sort of our moment of truth to see what the cabinet looks like in the dining room now. Joshua's outside, so the dogs kind of wanna <laughs> watch and see what he's doing. But yeah, I think it looks really adorable. So we moved the brown cabinet and took that piece of art down. And I think I'm going to put the piece of art over there where the fiddle leaf plant is. And then over here, this is where I have the cabinet for now. That's my next project, those canvases. But I'm gonna get a couple new chairs. And then I'm thinking about putting like a little table lamp, maybe a plant or something right there but for now i really like the way the little cabinet looks in here and i do love that piece of artwork that's why i do still want to put it up over there so now i kind of have to figure out how i'm going to style this i also have to cover up the hole from the artwork but i was thinking about i was looking at the target website last night and there's kind of like this really cool round really large wood tray and i was thinking that would look nice above it so make sure you guys subscribe and watch some of my next few vlogs because i'm thinking about ordering that online and then putting that up there and then you guys can see kind of how this ends up coming together i think i'm going to pop a few things in there right now just to see how it looks it's all dry it's the next day now and everything since i've painted actually before i put my camera down I'm gonna show you guys. Well, we're getting ready to go to the cabin right now. But, all of this stuff on these shelves, you can already tell I've been playing with a lot of the things over there. But I think I'm gonna remove these shelves from this wall because I know this is all a mess right now. But I feel like with the shelves over there and then having shelves here, it's almost too cluttered. So I really don't even want floating shelves on this wall anymore, so I think Everything that I have up here, like cookbooks and just random little knickknacks. I actually think all of those things would look great in here. So those are the things that I'm going to kind of play with in here for now. And then I'm sure I'll collect new things and I'll share with you guys the progress and stuff in new vlogs. I knew this Dutch oven I for sure wanted to put in here joshua's mom got me this for christmas and i think it's so cute but i don't use it that often it's just kind of sitting on um, my stove so i thought this would actually look really cute in here it's heavy so it'll probably have to be on the bottom one now these are all some of the cookbooks that i had in the other room um, I don't know if these will all stay in here. Guys, for those of you that don't know, my hair is naturally curly. And with this stay at home thing, I just really haven't even um, blow dried my hair. I've just been kind of letting it naturally go. It's sort of driving me crazy because I don't really know what to do with it. But that's what's going on here. I haven't quite figured this out yet because I never really wear my hair curly that often. But anyway back to the cookbooks these are all of, like my hardcover books like i said i really don't even know like how i'm going to style this or anything but i'm just going to pop a few things in here for now if you guys have been keeping up 
You would know this photo is from Minted and I had it in one of those little acrylic frames, but I moved all of the acrylic frames to, the two that I had at least, to my half bathroom when I redecorated that. So I still have to find a frame for this photo now, but I think it's really adorable and I think if I can find a cute little frame that would look cute up on this top shelf. Now these are a couple cookbooks that I have too. They're soft color, um, soft cover, yeah. Um, but I don't know if like the coloring of these are going to clash. So I don't even know if I should leave these in here or not. But I really think the cabinet could use a little plant or something, but all of my plants in my house are real. And so I don't think a real plant would stay alive i don't think at least with the cabinet doors closed and stuff so i might have to find a really cute faux plant probably from target or something this is kind of what i have going on for now it's obviously not going to stay just like this okay guys so that is my adorable little china cabinet now i love it in here it's like very homey and cute looking I love it. So let me know what you guys think. Just got to get something for above it. I ar already tried putting that above it and it just didn't look right. So I just thought I would let you guys know because I bet a few people will tell me to put it up there, but I didn't think it looked right. So it'll go over there. Any links that I can link, like these little knobs and pulls that I use for the cabinet, um, or if there's any other links that you guys want, leave a comment down below and then I'll try to link it in the description for you guys. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video, this little DIY project. Since we're all staying at home right now, I think getting some fun little projects done like this right now, well, it's really the perfect time. So let me know what you guys thought. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. Hope you're all doing great. Please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you really soon in my next video.